Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be showing you how to split two colors of text diagonally and also in a shape that is in the middle of the text. Here is Inkscape. The first thing I do is I lock this padlock here. I lock this because I don't want to lose the dimensions of my work when I drag to adjust the size. Also, I turn on the snapping tool here. I turn it on. It's good for this project. Pick my text tool and drop in my text here. Because of my dark canva, I need to give the text a lighter color feel. Come here to change the font style to Chala1. This font is a font that is completely free to download and absolutely free to use. The link to it is already in the description below. You may use the description below to access the link to this font, download it on your device and use freely. I use Ctrl A to alight all the text so I can adjust the closeness of the letters. So I come here that says space between letters and use the minus button there to reduce the space. To make it faster, I put it as 0.75. I use this to select it and duplicate with a Ctrl D or I right click to duplicate. Keep the duplicate copy somewhere down here. And for this, to split this diagonally across the text, I need to pick the rectangle shape tool and draw a rectangle over the text. Give it a red fill, select it with the selection tool and use this button here to send it to back. I hold the shift key to select the text and the shape together, I've selected the two. Then I go to object to open the align and distribute. Make sure it's relative to last selected here to keep it in the center, here in the middle. Then I pick the Bezier tool, Bezier tool, and start from this point here. Snap it to this corner here, snap it to this corner here, and end it here with a double click. It's just to have a triangle there. It's done. I select it, go to the red rectangle, and delete it. Now select the triangle we just created and give it a blue fill. This blue is fine. Now when I zoom in very well, you can see it has a stroke that is an outline around the shape. We need to take this away. I hold the shift key and select the X button here. Shift and X will take the color of that stroke away. The next is to duplicate the triangle. I right click to duplicate or you use Ctrl D. It's done. You know Inkscape does it perfectly. Here is it. I use this button to flip horizontally and here vertically. Here is it. Ctrl Z to undo that. Select the lower triangle and give it a white fill. I hold the shift key and select the blue triangle with it. I have selected it too. Here it says two objects selected. Then I come to the top here and use this button to send it to back. Now you see the diagonal effect is not across the text. To fix that, I click on the triangles again to have the rotation corner edge. Then I drag to adjust so I can have good diagonal effect across the entire text. This looks okay now. I click out, then I drag over to select the blue and white triangles with the text. Now I've selected the three, right click and set clip. Now these are two objects. This is the first one, Ctrl Z to undo that. You may leave it like this if you care and if you want to take it further you can just click on the lower one and use the down arrow button to take it down a bit like two steps downward just for proper splitting effect there. I give it a background effect by using the rectangle shape tool and give it this kind of blue. I select it and send it to back. Adjust it for proper centralization. 
I think this blue is fine. This is perfectly done for that. And for the second one, I will show you how to do it in a different way from the first. This is because we are bringing in a shape in the middle across the text. So we need to convert this to a vector first. And to do that, select the text, go to path, then object to path. Now when we did that, it gave us 14 objects. All the 14 letters here have been separated but grouped as one. So I right click on it to ungroup. This is because I can only group only two objects at a time. So I click the first one, hold the shift key to select the second one. So I can union these two objects. I go to path, then union. Now it's now one object. Hold the shift key, select the next one to it. Path, union. Hold the shift key, select the next one, path, union. All the 14 letters are now one vector object. I right click to duplicate and that's because we are creating two colors for this effect. Keep the duplicate copy somewhere here and for the first one, I will give it this exact blue color. So I change it here. That's the blue there. And for this yellow text, I change it to this kind of red. I go to the blue text. Then pick the circular ellipsis tool to draw a shape across the middle of the entire text. I use the selection tool to select it so I can drag and adjust for perfection. I think I need a visual relief of these colors here. So I go to this background here, this rectangle at the back here. I duplicate it with Ctrl D. Then bring the duplicate copy down here. Then drag to extend to this point. Change it to white, fill, and send it to back. Now there's a kind of visual relief for what I'm doing now. So I select the shape. Hold the shift key to select the text behind it. I've selected the two, the shape and the blue text. Then I go to object to open the align and distribute. Be sure it's relative to last selected, here to center, and here to middle. Then I click out to select only the shape. I right click to duplicate it. Keep the duplicate copy here. Then I change the color so it doesn't mix up with the text below. I keep it here for now. Then I select the first shape. Hold the shift key to select the blue text behind it. I hold the shift key to select the two. Then I go to path then difference. Now to fill this space we use the red text and to do that I hold the shift key to select the shape here and the text behind it. Make sure it's aligned to center and middle. Center and middle well aligned. Then right click on the two then set clip. So that's it there. Hold the shift key to select the upper one and the lower one. I hold the shift key to select the two together. Keep it in the center aligned and middle aligned. And that is it. You may leave it exactly like this, but to give it more splitting effect like this, then you need to give it a stroke that is the same color with the background. Click on the blue text. Hold your shift key and select the white color. That gives it white stroke there. And this is the result. You may want to check all my videos on this. All these and many more are already in the description below for you. Please check them out. It would be good if you subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. That is, you like this video. All these really do help. And as I always do, thank you for watching.